good to be home. I have been idle here for a long time. Look at how far Mary we've come. It's all becoming so overwhelming. The Starborn, the artifact vision. Mateo, are you having a crisis of... What if the Starborn are right? What if our hunt for the artifacts is a fool's errand? Doomed to failure and... You think we're doing the wrong thing? We just want answers. Exactly. When the universe presents us with a threat, we can't afford to run away. We need to stay in the fight. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to shame either of you. Blame the workings of a worried mind. I just hope that this journey doesn't turn us into something that we wouldn't recognize. Hate to interrupt, but I have a lot of equipment on the eye has reached the span's end. If we're going to find more artifacts further out, got the nods and signs from Sarah and Walter for the materials, but... Eh, she's an old station. Be ready for retirement by the stretch of a human life. Took a lot of modifications to tune into the anomalies. Give you the down of it. Worried not all of the repairs we need will take. Compatibility across the years tends to fray. Need more than just the you and I. Ask around. A few constellations are already on their way up. It's been quieter around here ever since Vladimir went to live on the eye full time. Bet you never expected to end up involved in something like this. There's certainly precedent. Is We've been operating for a while now on the fringes of what we, I mean humans, know and understand. Why? I just think we should be open-minded, keep everything on the table. I did say it was a metaphor, didn't I? Never meant it to be taken completely literally, but you never know. Maybe they appeared in a form we're familiar with. It's the argument I have with Walter every other week. Science and reason have their place, but so we have all of them at our disposal, and I don't for one second believe they're mutually exclusive. Take care of yourself. Ever since I got here, this has felt like home. These people... Anything I can learn from it. Anything I can learn from is a You mean what could be the biggest discovery in the history of scans are still inconclusive, but I think we've seen enough to know that we're dealing with something potentially even there are so many questions beyond just who are they? How did they find you? How do they know about the artifacts? Why has no one ever seen them before? They did openly threaten you, as I understand it. I'd say that's something to worry about. It was one thing when this was just about us investigating the artifacts. Uh, a weird phenomenon that didn't come with creepy threats or questions about aliens or whatever it is that's going on now. I know we'll figure it all out in the end. It's just... Great, let's see what you have. Stay safe, okay? I may regret this, but there's something... Sarah's the best possible person to be running Constellation at a time like this. Focused, no nonsense, and dedicated. Not my first time in a hostile negotiation, as you well know. Admittedly, I usually know more about who I'm facing off against. And fair. The technology on that ship was impressive, to say the least. I got to where I am by taking advantage of opportunities. No, might as well make the most of this. Oh, right. I was afraid you were going to bring that up again. 
Very well. Let's see if I... My colleagues, I venture out into the darkness of space once again. Many of you have expressed concern. At my age, nonsense, I say. To go out into the unknown, to brave the... If this last expedition is my time, then I say, I have been fortunate. I have been fortunate that, dare I say, I am fortunate my soul has a home. And that was the last thing Sebastian Banks ever said in the lodge before he disappeared. And constantly... Despite our differences of opinion back on Neon, <laughs> There's no fooling you. My Star Yard's been having a little trouble getting our next project. I need someone capable and decisive. Of course, now that I know you're in. It's a new ship. We want to divert. Now, I don't know why the people I pay very handsomely to come up with new designs can't seem to get out of it. And frankly, I don't care. I just want someone. I did... not. Part of the problem is that my designers seem to be having trouble. I should mention that you're not there to make design decisions. You're there to get the project back on track and help guide them. So... R&D needs to happen first, whenever work starts on a new project. It's a natural stalling point, since we need to make so. In this case, we're talking about looking at our existing fleet of ships and using data we've gathered to see what can... But of course, each member of the R&D team can interpret that data to suit their own confirmation bias. I'm guessing that's what we're seeing. Excellent. I'll send word ahead to the project lead. They'll all be instructed to listen to you and... I expect big things from you. So I'm excited to see what you manage to deliver. Hope you have a good stay. Habershaw's in the showroom if you're ready to buy. If you need anything, just ask. Let me see your manifest. It doesn't appear you have anything to... Stroud Eklund may be new, but it has allowed us to feel free to come back anytime. This yeah, place these ships are nice. is something else. Compared to a trident? <laughs> My business is switching to Stroud Eklund. It just makes sense. This must be Walter's consultant friend. Please, come join us. We've been waiting for you. Hi there. 
Hello. It might surprise you to hear that no, I have not. This is actually the first project I've led for Stroud Eklund. I recently graduated with a master's degree in engineering management. I'm actually kind of surprised they hired me, but I was at the top of my class, so maybe they didn't want to lose me to some other star yard. Anyway, I'm grateful for the chance to do good work here. You must be Walter's colleague. He informed me that you'd be taking charge of Project Kepler despite the fact that we have a fully dedicated R&D staff already assigned to it. But that's okay. I'm sure that even though you have virtually no experience with this, you'll do a great job. Oh. Uh, I just assumed. You know what? I'm really sorry. I should trust Walter knew what he was doing. My bad. Even so, we have plenty of designers. As you probably know, we're tasked with coming up with Strout Eklund's next hit starship. But we have budget concerns, market research to finish, and we can't seem to agree on a design. So I guess Walter sent you to resolve these... There are a lot of factors to consider. Who is our market and what do they want in a ship? Which components are we putting into it? How fast should it go? How much cargo capacity? What color should it be? We need to... Ah, right, so you mentioned. Let's move on to solving our budget issues then, shall we? We were charged with building the newest, hottest ship on the market, which won't be possible unless we petition the board for more money. So we have two new budget proposals. One will allow us to build what I consider to be a very sensible ship, but we'll have to make some tough design cuts. The other will allow us much more flexibility to put whatever we want into the ship. It's what I call the kitchen sink proposal. I don't love it, but it'll be next to impossible to approve. What should we go with? I'd love to, seriously. It would be a huge win for us if we came in under or at that budget. But none of the viable designs for this project can be made for them. I've already rejected that budget, so I have to go to the board regardless. And since you're now responsible for the major decisions, which budget proposal we go... It's more that we can only choose certain design elements at the expense of others. In other words, if we go with something in Mike's design, there's not enough money in the budget for what Ella wants. That's one of the reasons we haven't been able to... I was afraid you'd say that. Look, I'm the one who has to go to the board with this proposal, so before I can convince them this is going to be worth it, you're going to need to convince me. Well, I'm all ears, because it's going to take a miracle to... A smart leader knows when some ideas just... I hadn't considered it that way. It gives us some wiggle room if we need to try some things, and it... I'm doing a fine enough job as- Look, I know you're confident with it. Wow, that's really generous of you. That should cover what we need. Great, that's one problem solved. I'll go forward with that. Next, we need to gather some market data. The best way to do this is to outfit your ship with some sensors and take it through some real-world snap. Great! Just pick up a mission or two at the mission board and proceed like you normally would. If you take on a variety of missions, we can build a ship to handle a variety of scenarios. In the meantime, you might also want to talk with the team, get to know them, give feedback on their proposals. So, you're Walter's friend. I know he chose...
Honestly, as senior technical designer, I was hoping to receive that honor. Regardless, I'm excited to help you out. Good. We were worried you knew nothing, and as long as you are willing to listen to us, we may... Now, I know you've been asked to give feedback on our design proposals. Of course. But first, let me ask you this. What pilot demographic is currently being underserved by the current starship market? Well, you're not fun. My idea is a little less conventional. I believe we should invest in making it... Sure, we and other manufacturers have lines of exploration ships, but none built with the app. It's my hope that we can jumpstart a new era of affordable, accessible space exploration, fueled by ordinary... Yeah, that's what Jules said too. But at least that gives me something to think about. Thanks. We're See all you super around. glad you're here, I right, guess. everyone? I'm wondering if we need enough. We are. Then again, I hear Walter brought you... Well, quite the opposite, actually. See, I don't care who makes the decision, so long as someone does it. And said proposal doesn't make me... Speaking of which, I think my plan will get us where we need to be. It's simple, no frills, and most importantly, won't cause me... Let me tell you, all the creative minds around here are so concerned with designing the most innovative and fancy ships possible. They never stop to think about the kind of work it takes to do that. Yes, we're engineers. Our job is to make the bloody impossible possible. But that doesn't mean it's easy or practical. No, I'm just trying to set realistic goals. So I'm thinking, there's loads of fighters. No sense in mucking about with that again. And we've already got one of the best luxury liners in... What I figure is, the cargo running business is booming, and no one's quite built a personal craft like that to serve the working class folk. Nothing fancy, no frills. Just a simple, sturdy, inexpensive ship with cargo room up the wazoo and make it so easy my cousin's little moppet could fly. Our objective should be to build a huge ship with plenty of cargo room while keeping the costs low. Doesn't need fancy equipment, just the basics. Basic weapons, basic defenses. But if we go with a design like that, I can focus on quality construction and the ship. Wait, really? I was expecting me to... I hope you're being sincere. Because if I can convince them to go with mine, it's... I assume you mean the company and not the people. Because even if I didn't already think so, I'd tell you that both Walter and Issa are... The company is still kind of young as far as Star Yards go, but it seems to be going in the right... I've been doing this for a while at other Star Yards, and so far, we're avoiding a lot of the mistakes some of the older court. <laughs> yeah, that's me, innit? Been here since the start of the company. Done it. But I keep telling them. It's senior, not lead engineer. I've got no interest in being lead. Too much... <laughs> and yet here I am. Nope. Not really. I like to think I don't have the ego for it. I've got nothing to prove, and I don't rightly care to make my... Mo All I want to do is build the best damn starships I can, and not get bogged down. But upper management loves the work I do. They wouldn't let me say no to this. I hope we didn't scare you off, huh? Um, hi. Oh, you... So, I was thinking that we could really use a recreational craft in our fleet. But not like super luxurious like our Adonis pleasure yacht. Something... something mom and dad could pack up and take the... You probably think that's stupid. Hmm. 
I haven't thought of all the details, but I'd imagine lo a mid-sized ship with enough room for one, mm, or maybe even two or three families to spread out. I don't think it'd need any fancy weapons or scientific equipment, so it should be pretty affordable. Families don't want to spend a fortune, so keeping the cost low will help guarantee... I used to go off-world camping with my family when I was a kid. The other families we met always complained their ships weren't quite adequate for family vacations. They never had... I've done some market research, and like, no ship manufacturer seems... Which means even if the demand is low, we can fill... Oh, really? Well, if we end up making it, I swear I'll work up a hell of an ad... Catch you around. You know, I have designed space... So, you must have really impressed Walter for him to give you this prop. Never mind that. <laughs> Perhaps he sees in you what he sees in... Ah, yes. At least you may be more open to my ideas than my colleagues. Maybe this is a blessing in disguise. Imagine a luxury craft designed for the most discerning of tastes. Every feature designed for comfort and peace of mind. High-end performance. Precision engineering. A spacecraft for those who wish to be seen. This will be the most elite personal... The ship should be mid-size. Spacious, but not bulky. We'll want to build it with the highest quality. Most, it should feel safe, but not threatening. Focus on defensive... Above all, you should be able to picture your favorite celebrity, or Walter himself, flying... Hmm... I think I understand what you mean. It is not enough to say it's a high-end luxury ship. Who is flying this ship? Where do they go? Oh, thank you. I will think on... Two words. Conspicuous consumption. Are you familiar with this concept? Huh. Of course. Rich celebrity like Borealis buys shiny ship to show off. Idiot consumer sees Borealis use our ship and idiot consumer wants one... To because I am the lead designer on the project, it is li it is frustrating because I keep getting pushback. And Jules had this idea that we will make a better product. Since everyone has equal say, it led us to a standstill. Just because I do not like how corporate we have become doesn't mean... Besides, with every successful ship I design, I believe I can influence the company to shift away from typical corporate bullshit and... Then again... Yeah, yeah, see you. The repairs on our old ship just keep piling up. If this keeps up, all our profits are just going... This is going great! Fun. Just... fantastic! Oh, yes, I actually do have a proposal. I wasn't really expecting you to give me feedback, but why not, I guess? I'd like to see us branch out a bit more in the Starfighter market. Bounty hunting and mercenary work are both big these days, especially among the hard-blooded Free Stars. I'm glad you brought that up. No, and yes, there's a lot of work out there that requires a capable fighting ship. But the real success comes from UC military contracts which we would hope to attract by building a higher-end version of this ship platform for them. We'd want to give it strong weapons, tough defenses, plus good speed and maneuverability. Most Starfighters are fairly small, and the tricky part is keeping costs down with all those fancy modules. You could be right. There's got to be a better way to pitch the idea. We'll talk later then.
You have a good day. to be part of the Strad Eklund team. Everything's so new here.
Something's out there. What? Yeah, yeah. Don't look at me like that. I heard something. I know it.
word is you've been clearing out some real scum. If you need anything, Take just this. ask. Well, let me see your manifest. We'll unload that from your ship right now. Abershaw can help you if you need anything. This game all our profits are just going to keep it flying. Yeah, I know. But she's been with us for ages. We got a business to run. Well, we're sentiment. making pro I'm actually kind of amazed we finalized the budget. Like we'll chat really again soon, okay? This place is something else. If you're here to buy or sell, you might want to talk to... And by sensitive, I'm guessing you mean something you don't want UC security. I can probably help you with that. What if you... Hmm. Aurora, huh? Nice. A little too hot to handle, though. All I'm going to point at is the ceiling, with my middle finger. Get that stuff out. Of course, if there's a finder's fee you're offering, I might... You know, it's funny. Suddenly, I do remember someone who might be able to unload. There's a buddy of mine who runs with the Crimson Fleet. Goes by the name Adler Kemp. If he isn't passed out, you can find him killing the rest of his brain cells at the Broken Spear. Oh, and uh, it's been a pleasure doing business with you. Take your time. How's it going? Can I help you? Cool.
Come back anytime. Unless you're here to serve me another drink, you can turn around. Hey, why don't you say that a little louder? I don't think every single UC guard in Sedona. Uh, okay. If you've got a whole shipment of this stuff, you're going to need to move it fast. But you're going to have to. You're a clever one, aren't you? Let's just say. I have a certain influential affiliation. Pipe down! What the hell's the matter with you? Look, I don't know what that big mouth Searsha told you, but I keep who I run with a secret in public. Now, do you want my help? Right down to business! Now listen up, because I'm not going to repeat myself. I need you to deal with a minor probably spent it all on booze, not that I blame him. Either... Feel free to throw as many credits in my face as you want, but that isn't the point. His name's Carl Fielding. I think you'll find him wandering around. Don't worry, you can't miss him. Just look for the most mi Hello. Deimos Star Yards may be the first major ship manufacturer, but that doesn't mean Maybe we haven't got more than enough work to go for treating I can go home. Worker satisfaction has been trending upwards recently. Taking their psychological concerns into account has played a part. Hello there. Do I know you? <laughs> How odd that we both thought we knew each other. I'm Leona Hawks, Deimos Star Yards corporate liaison. Anyone who deals with our office likely deals with me at some... We've been contracted with the UC for decades to provide... It makes sense that they trust us, as Deimos is the oldest standing... We were responsible for some of the major advancements in grav drive technology since the... I coordinate between Deimos Corporate... Deimos Star Yards. My job is to make sure those... Take care now. Okay, if no one else is gonna say it, I will. Excuse me, I'm ready to get out of here and go to the spear. There's always something to do around here. Unless you're a okay. Deimos employee. Uh, yes, yeah. Okay, really. I haven't had a day off in three. Another long day. At least I've got more than enough work to complete before I can go home. If you notice any of the me. exhibiting worrisome I'm just saying I'm done. Going to the spear. HR. Anyone else coming with? Really oh, hello there. After today, I could really use it. Let's go. Goodbye. Hey. Ugh. What now? Okay. Hello. <clears throat> I'm looking for work. Things can get pretty glum around here. Hey, if you ever need a little joy, go talk to that Renee kid. She's always trying to make people happy. It's hard not to worry when your spouse is the one doing all the hard work down in the mines. Hi there, friend. Yes? Howdy. Any vacancies on your crew? I'm not asking for much, just a reasonable... Why is that? Don't think I'm desperate or anything. Sounds fair. I mean... Where do you want me? I'll get underway. Looking to join a crew? Any openings? Trust me, you'd be get. Why is that? 
Uh, in my experience. No. No, that's not any more true than it was. Stop. I don't want to hear it. That's the best I can do. Take it. Your loss. Do you have room for one more on your crew? No more than the average crew person. Why is that? Yeah, I've heard of you. In my experience, the right off... I heard you the first time, and didn't care then either. Come on, any cheaper and we're bordering... Great! I'm re Heading there now. Fancy seeing you here. Yes? What? <clears throat> Many people think psychology is only good for treating past emotional trauma, but it's a great way to How's the saying go? Show no mercy, leave no quarter? Hey, you looking for more work? I'm wondering if you might be up for doing me a favor of the person. All citizens are welcome to Ooh, should I tell you? Ah, uh, what the hell. So, I got a bounty for this guy. Real tough spacer, you know? I find a ship, bored without him knowing, and I literally can't. Anyway, before he can react, I tackle him to the ground to cuff him, and he lets off a sly quip thinking he's got game, but I don't take kindly to that kind of an event. And well, Bounty says, alive or dead, so I make the call. Anyway, turns out it wasn't the right guy, but this guy was also wanted. What are the odds, right? Well, the Alliance didn't think it was as funny as I did, so... Careful out there. Always be ready for it. If terror morphs ever show up here like they did in New Atlantis, we'll be ready for them. Word of advice. Don't mess with the pants. Can't wait to get shipped off to another. I heard they found another new fresh water deposit on the Someday, I'm gonna take this business. Some might see junk, but I... If I don't have water... Good luck out there. Pardon me. Good news, Something I can help you with? Oh, wow. That's a huge step. Yeah, I am super. Adler Camp. Who the heck is that? Adler, you said? Uh, nope. Look. I'm tired. It's been a long day. In Adla, uh, Adla, Adla. Uh... Oh, wait. 
You mean that, Adler? Yeah, sorry. I told him I'd pay up next week when Deimos cuts our next profit share check. <laughs> I'll even bring it to him per- Uh, well? Look, I haven't got a single credit to spare right now. Okay? Oh, what games? What? Oh my god. Please. Tell Adler I'm sorry for trying to wiggle out of the debt. You look like you need a hug. I like hugs. But not from strangers. Hi, I'm Renee, and I'm so bored. My mom and dad say not to talk. Anyway, what do you want to talk I like to play with Taiye sometimes. We come up with lots of games to play. Sometimes. But when he's not around, I like to draw. Sometimes I draw things. Actually, want to help me? I just drew these great pictures of Space Frog, but I can't go out right now. It's Space Frog from Outer Space. And... He's a little frog character that I made up. I've never seen a real frog before, but I... anyway, he lives in space and goes around to different planets helping people who are sad. You will? Thank you, thank you. Here's a bunch of copies of the space frog drawing I made. You can post them in places where you think people will see them. Ask me what I think about mining. <laughs> it rocks. Have something for me? There, would you look at that? I'm he going to be a problem anymore? Nice, nice. You're kind of a natural at this. You know, if you like this kind of work, I can get you more. You think you can handle running with my uh, associate? <laughs> That's what I... All right. I'll call ahead and get a hold of Neva Mora. She's second. Head out to Europa. You'll find her there. I suggest you listen. Oh, and I've taken care of that Aurora shipment for you, too. from being shut down countless times. Just buzzing through or did you just...
Sidonia's not so bad. Honest work. Sure am glad. Just put the pictures up where you think lots of people are. Hi! Thanks for doing that for me! I wish I could... I know, right? Last time I did this, lots of people came up. I only hope these drawings stay up longer this time. Anyways... so sad all the time. Hey, uh... Nice to meet you. I'm Ty. I live here in the condos. Sorry, I don't, I don't usually talk. Yeah, I'm just worried about my mom. She's been that way since my dad died. Only, she doesn't like me. But you know what? Maybe you should talk to her? Maybe talking to her would help? I don't know. Nah. There's no school in Sidonia. My mom says it's because- But also, there's almost no kids here either. Instead, we learn remotely. It's cool. Like, my friend Renee is fun to hang out with and all, but I- I don't know. I guess we just- Sometimes we go to the community center and they have stuff to do, but except not when the adults are having a meeting. I asked my mom what they were, but she says it was something to do with drinking and like, I've... later then. Tell me my son Tai invited another stranger to come talk to me again, did he? That boy means well. <laughs> God I hand it to him. He's got his ways of looking out for me. My son means well and I know he's just trying. My husband, his father, isn't with us. Keith died in a mining accident a few... It wrecked me. I... Still haven't... When Keith died, Deimos settled with us. Per the settlement, they agreed to buy this condo and allow us to live here. Finding work that I can do as a single mother here on side... What little money we do get from the settlement every month goes that. To be fair, Demos provides us with a sustainable lifestyle. They take care of... Oh, oh my. Are you sure? I'll be sure to put it away into savings for Taiye. Maybe we can afford a better education for him. Then he won't have to work in the mines like his daddy. I heard about what you did for my mom and me. Thanks. Growing up in Sidonia? You got it. I know. My mom told me. That's pretty cool of you. I didn't know people just did that sort of thing. When I grow up, I'm gonna try and find someone else needs help like that. And give them money, like you did. See you around. When I get older, I'm gonna work in the mines, like my dad did. So I can save up and buy my mom a house somewhere nice. Oh, welcome back. Now? Nothing. I had originally been offered a job here at... But not a week before I was due to start, they announced that the site... It was never meant to be permanent anyway, but... Then when 
and Keith died. Taye is good. He obviously misses his dad. He keeps talking about how he wants to get a job. He's a good boy. I couldn't stand the thought of him. I know he does. Thanks for the chat. Not a lot of kids here. Sometimes you've got to make your own fun. Give any. If you need a little, you know, touch up, I'm happy to help. Goodbye. The miners pretty much run the lower levels here. Talk to me. You reckon you can hack it as a bounty hunter? What can I do you for? Mission boards? Yeah, you'll find one here in the Broken Sp Trackers Alliance post. Hey, y'all better not be... Yeah, well, see ya.
Everything looks good at my station, Captain. Hello, Captain. All systems looking good, boss. Always a pleasure, Captain. It's always good to see a friend. This is a beautiful place, don't you? I'm ready to get going. Signs of life in this area. They want to fight.
Here if I ever saw one. We'll need our suits in this area.
discuss something? Of course you may, Captain. I'm an open book. Ask me anything. I call myself an experimental theologian. I have a particular interest in the relationship between quantum... My beliefs have primarily been shaped by reading the works of ancient astronomers. <laughs> a bit of a mouthful, I know. That's why I think it's important. Mainly through observation. My prized possession as a child was my telescope. As I got older, I became fascinated with the mathematics behind what I was seeing, and began to study the... My interest in a divine mathematician evolved from their theories about sacred geometry. I had a feeling you might. I get the impression you've been touched by something otherworldly. I imagine that would shape anyone's perspective. <laughs> Nowhere you've heard of. My mothers were Listers. They raised me on a small planet in the Narian system. We called it Avalon. Remembering them always makes me smile. Their names were Brenda and Lynette, and they were travelers. They met by chance at the Demo Staryard and fell in love at first sight. They abandoned their career shortly after. After they'd established a homestead on Avalon, they travelled to New Atlantis. LIST is an acronym. It... I've met plenty on my travels. They... I have, and I'm grateful for it. To live and explore, I'll have more than enough interesting stories to tell in my... I'd be happy to. Avalon holds a very special place in my heart. It's a beautiful place that's covered in lake. My mothers thought it resembled the mythological kingdom of Avalon from the Arthurian legends. That's where we got the name. It certainly looked the part. Growing up there felt like living in a storybook. I used to hunt for fairies on the shores near our home. No, I'm afraid that's impossible. The legends say you need a fairy to guide you there, and I never did manage to catch... In all seriousness, I promised my mothers that I'd keep Avalon's location a secret. It was... I left to begin my studies. It seemed to me like the Star Sea was the most reasonable place to find answers about the universe and the divine. Leaving was a difficult decision, but I don't regret it. I found no shortage of material for my book out here in the space lanes. Thank you, Captain. I appreciate that. Whether I find what I'm looking for or not, I'm grateful to be traveling with you. Naturally, you're... Yes, that does ring a bell. Decades ago, I met a man called Irvin in New Atlantis who spoke at length about an explorer. He said they were searching for truth among the stars. I was fascinated. Irvin offered to introduce me to the other members, but it wasn't meant to be. The colony war broke out shortly after we spoke, and I never... Naturally, another remarkable twist of fate. The odds of you work... I believe it's further evidence that none of this is an accident. I've been dabbling in astrology. Not the answer you'd expect from a student of physics, I assume. I'm treating it as a history lesson and as research for my book. Most of the ancient astro... It's fascinating to read about, but I've had difficulty practicing it myself. Every astrological text I have references the... <laughs> I suppose no one told the ancient Babylonians their astrological methodologies would need to account for a spacefaring society. That was a nice discussion.